Hello friends, I'm Painting Hyuns here. Today, I'm going to show you how to paint some flower fields in watercolor and ink and pen. I have already sketched some part of the painting with ink. And I want to draw another sunflowers here. And I'm drawing a plenty of trees far away. And also drawing small sunflowers. Small sunflowers here and there. Another flower here, draw the uh, oval shape on the near the flower. Draw flower of pencil first and then tracing it with micro O3 pen. Here is the stem. I'm drawing it as small flowers, small sunflower here on the background far away. This is my Cron O3 pen. I'm tracing uh, along the pencil lines. For today's colors, I'm going to be using permanent yellow light and cadmium yellow div. And next one is vermilion. These are for uh, sunflower. And this one is the bun sienna. And next one is a zap green. And then this cerulean blue will be using on sky. Okay, move on to the coloring. I wash it the paper and grab light cerulean blue, put it in the sky and blend nicely. Next, I'm taking yellow to apply it tree area. And adding a vermilion touching a bit burnt sienna these colors will be merging and making beautiful colors next i'm taking sap green putting into yellow so i got a slightly yellowish green putting it in the background i'd like to create some flower fields As you can see, these colors are smudged very easily. The reason why I washed this paper, except the flowers, when I was started. What does that mean? This paper has enough water for rose style. I'm mixing sap green and bonsena. And then I'm going to uh, draw leaves and stems. As you can see, the colors are spreading now. What does that mean? This paper is still damp. What I'm doing now, taking out green from neediness part with a dried brush and I'm mixing sap green and burnt sienna then I'm adding leaves and stems as on second layer.
I'm adding another layer on the leaf. Draw some lines in the middle of the uh, leaf and I am keep doing trees that are far in the distance and some flowers at the background. So I am draw with a light tone of yellow and green for the sunflower far in the distance. Next I'm trying to splash with yellow in the near flowers on the background. These are gonna be looking nature and airy. And I'm adding leaves more here and there with the density of olive green. The olive green is that I mixed sap green and bon sienna. It's time to move on to main flowers. First, I'm washing the paper of the flower pot. Second, taking a mixture of permanent yellow light and cadmium yellow dip and putting in the petal one by one. Third, taking a mixture of cadmium yellow dip and vermilion, adding on the around the center of the flower and blending it nicely from center towards the tip of the petals. Drag out toward the tip of the petals. For this main flower, it's not done yet. I'll be back soon. For the next flower, painting the petals first and clap a bon sienna, adding the center of the flower. And blend nicely. Move on to the main flower again, taking a bon sienna and putting on the center of the flower and blend nicely and saving some tiny white space for highlight. I'm just using the tip of the brush and dapping on the center of the flower. Finally, adding a mixture of bon sienna and sap green. I want to get a thicker density of value of brown. I, I was planning the sun came from the left top hand side. That's why I make the shadow of the dark part with a density of brown. I'm just to put a left top side with the dark color because the sun uh, comes from left top hand side. Okay? And what I'm doing now, draw some flower leaves more here and there. And you can also draw leaves and flowers more 
where you want. Grow stem and uh, more leaves here and there. Okay, in this final touch up, make sure these petals and leaves. Keep doing it in depth until you are sat satisfied with this painting. Give some little darker color between petals. I'm touching up a little bit uh, darker brown on the center of the flower. Okay, I'm really enjoyed today's painting. I hope you had a good time as I did. Please subscribe and hit the like button. Leave good comment. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye.